Andrea was working for Comp Health at the time and she uh, applied for our position and we interviewed her and I loved her. And, um, you know, she, she was like, I, I left during the pandemic. I wanted to be a mom and spend a lot of time with my kids. You know, her youngest Sadie had just been born and you know, she, she was spending a lot of time with her family and raising like the four kids. I did that for four months and I hated it. I don't like being a stay at home mom. I, my tank is filled when I'm interacting with other people and working and have goals. And so I was, I was not thriving. I was not myself and my husband could tell. And so that's when I reached out to talent acquisition here and was like, I need something, <laughs> help me. So that's where leaders come into play. And that's why Lisa is so near and dear to my heart is because Lisa knew my situation. She knows that I have four kids at home. She knew that I could not be tied to a desk for eight hours straight. Uh, she knew that sometimes I might have to run down the street and drop off a treat, or I might have to change a diaper or prepare a meal, prepare lunch. and. So I think it was just having open communication with her and both of each other knowing our needs. I just came into it knowing that I could do it. And Lisa had faith in me every step of the way. She, I, she didn't doubt me at all. I never, I knew and I had her confidence. I, I knew I could get the job done, but it's not just me making it work. It's, it's again, a teamwork thing. So having leaders that support you and have the confidence in you and knowing that you can do the job, it's gotta happen, it's huge. I I don't really know how to respond to that. She, honestly, it's it's so easy. She's so easy to lead. She's so easy to work with because she puts in the effort um, on both sides and the, you know, being a mom and being a full-time employee. And I think she does a great job of balancing it on her own. It's definitely not all me. She She's responsible for her own success, um, but I'm just lucky to be here and get to kind of watch her and cheer her on. You know, she and I just have that like trust um, where, you know, she can tell me and be vulnerable with me. And I, I'm very vulnerable with her as well. And, you know, tell her my fears, tell her, you know, what I, what I want and what I don't want to uh, come across as. And, you know, she's really good at kind of uh, helping me to be a better leader. This, the secret is CHG. It's our leaders. It's it's having a support system and people that know you and care about you and want you to succeed. So it's, and that's again, why I, I truly love and adore Lisa is because I would not be able to do it without her. Oh my gosh, I love it when my people are successful. Like that's, that's how I measure my success is when my people are healthy and happy and contributing in a way that they feel um, impactful and meaningful, and then they feel connected to the team. So that to me, when they're successful is, is my success. I would stay with CHG forever.